everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. All right, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps in the grappling game. He is able to use throws in judo and he's able to use wrestling in the from the wrestling game to take people down he has an array of takedowns at his disposal and he uses every single one of them from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend he's truly truly something special i don't think he could take you down but tonight he doesn't have to so he does not in have this to. matchup prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the keys all right, so here he is, Khabib Nurmagomedov. His future in all likelihood is in the UFC Hall of Fame, but his present is this fight right now, once again taking on a fellow top 10, 155 pound. And when you've done everything that Khabib has done, that's all you see is the best the business has to offer. Yeah. And after the McGregor fight, his star shined more brightly than he ever could have imagined. I know how humble Khabib is. I know how much he loves to live in uh, privacy. Right. I understand that. But when you beat the Conor McGregor in the way that he did, he became an international icon. And it shows as you watch him in his pursuits of, of just opportunities and everything. But nothing is available to Habib if he does not take care of right. business in this octagon. And every time he steps foot there, he does exactly that. One of the most dominant fighters. UFC has ever seen. Going into that Conor McGregor fight, UFC 229, October of 2018, had about 4 million Instagram followers. Yes. How about 15 million? You got some catching up. I mean, the next day, he was up to 10. It was unbelievable. That's what happens when you fight Conor McGregor and you beat him. Most lightweights say, top to bottom, the toughest matchup for them in this division is Khabib Nurmagomedov. We'll see how it goes for him here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet, 11 inches tall, weighing in at 200 pounds. Fighting out of New York, New York, bad intention. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle, Mimago Mena. Okay, could take yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your point. You ready? You ready? All right, DC, here we go with round one. Of course, few guys in this division can grapple as effectively as he can. Maybe some pause tonight, given the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt on the other side. Yes, and he may use his grappling in reverse to stay upright because the Jiu-Jitsu fighter is such a great fighter. He's such a fantastic fighter. He's so skilled. He's so tricky, and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it. That standing may be this grappler's best chance to win the fight. Oh! Well, 
anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. All right, north-south position now. We'll see who transitions first. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's gonna be. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, Blocks. he gets denied. Blocks! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Nurmagomedov. Fighter trying to pass here, Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent is trying to do. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom, and if you're the top guy, you gotta finish, continue the game posture, and bring down the strike to your opponent. Nurmago Medov's got the tie clinch. Let's see what he can do. Rotates the lock and throws it way through the air. What a massive takedown. Well, let us now look back at some of the highlights from that round, and there just aren't that many guys on this roster that can keep up this offensive wrestling pace over 15 or 25 minutes. But he's one of those guys. He is one of those guys that's able to continuously take you down even if you get up over and over. He has this ability to maintain that pace and pressure that he can wear his opponents down. That's why you see him get so many finishes as the fight progresses. Well, he certainly had his way with his opponent in that previous round, and with this guy, even when you know what's coming, sometimes it's still just hard to stop him. Yes, because he's always changing up. The first time, it may be a high crotch issue. The second time, he may get single. Third time, it may be double. Ultimately, it always leads to him in the top position trying to find the space for his round attack. Tosses him to the mat. Now we'll see what he can do from here, DC. Right into side control. He's going to try to control him, then find a submission. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defensive. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Close guard. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. The Kimura is not the arm. It's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. And this might just be a matter of time. Oh, and there's the tap. He got the finish. What a beautiful Kimura finish by this great fighter. And I don't care how high your threshold is for pain, when you're in that compromised state, better to tap and fight another guy. It's so crazy because people think the pressure's on your arm. It's all your shoulder. When somebody has a really good Kimura, it feels like they're gonna break your shoulder. That's why you have to tap. All right, so a wild mound and a wild sequence there on the ground, DC. Talk us through the huddle. He's such a phenomenal grappler. I don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler, best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. So there he is, your winner by submission. That could hold up as one of the better subs of the year. 
near perfect execution tonight. Bruce Buffer has the Ladies official and decision. Ladies Eve Levine has got a stop to this contest at two minutes, four seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out. And in ten All right, so there he is, all smiles and rightfully so after he gets the job done. Thank you for watching. Please wait for more videos. See you soon. And that's exactly what